so I can't really understand what's going on. Uh, actually, I, it wasn't working really correctly, and then I just kept playing with the joystick, so maybe the joystick was all sticky on the inside because it's very brand new. I got five more of these. I got five pairs of these. They're only $10 for all five of these, and $10 for all five of these. And these things are cheap, so they're also possibly unreliable. So I bought a bunch of them because of, I also bought five more of these. And this was giving me trouble, and then I can switch them out and be really sure. And then also I can leave them into the little projects, and then with this one, there's a good reason to have more than one. But my joystick is connected to the transmitter, and my receiver is connected to the serial monitor. And you can see that I am able to change mm. see now it's giving me all kinds of funny data again but it was being this kind of proper where it seemed like it was responding really well to what I was doing but it doesn't seem to be... Now it's responding correctly. That was a big delay and not very good. Now that was a pretty big delay. Now that's a pretty big delay and not very good. I'm using the RC switch library. Uh, Most people recommend you use a different library, the Radiohead library. I couldn't get it working. I only got compiler errors when I tried to use it. The RC Switch library is a lot simpler. There's a lot less to it because It doesn't do that many different things, but it does send some data. See, I didn't touch it. Oh, I'm touching the back wires. I'm touching the, now it's very responsive. Now it's not responsive. I don't know if it's working or not. <laughs> 